What's up, guys? Welcome back to Van Goose Gaming. I'm TF Goose here with Vendetta, and today it is part two of the Wizard Build. Yes. 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 We've gotten upgrades. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> Very important. So uh, you've you've switched up uh, really just a couple of things, I think, but have become massively more effective as well, right? Yeah. Um, so kind of a problem with my build, as you guys saw last time in the building a boss wizard video, I was still using arcane orb after it's been uh, nerfed a little bit and it, it just didn't feel, whoops, I teleported to the wrong place. Uh -huh. It didn't feel that good. Um, so I switched to ray of frost and I switched to, uh, cause I have a, uh, really, 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 really good light of grace, which is basically, uh, makes ray of frost disintegrate. Ah um, yes, that it makes the it makes it pierce through enemies. That's the whole idea, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because normally that's a single target spell. I remember liking that, you know, when I was playing around with a wizard, you know, way way long ago. But that was my big beef with it is that it it just didn't do anything, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, it I hit, always had to aim at one guy. Yeah, it hits hard, but it just you know there's no crowd control or not crowd control, but the the non piercing makes it really unusable. And uh, anyway, though, so moving on, I have my first skill here, my number one, which is my magic weapon, using force weapon for that 10% extra damage. Um, pretty standard. It uh, just gives you some more deeps. And moving on from that, I have the black hole with the event horizon rune. Still um, the most underrated rune, I think. I think so, too. It's really, really good. It eats those affixes, and it helps when you aim it right. <laughs> it does occasionally whatever and, but uh yeah it's just i like it for kind of grouping up and it helps a lot and my third skill here is archon um but there is a pretty significant improvement with archon this go around and that is that i have all the veer set so i have all the set bonuses or all the runes rather yeah all the, I, yeah, all the set bonuses everything Oh, and wow, I died. I just got blasted again. Yeah. Seriously, these mobs are just like terrible here. Yeah, this is T5 guys, and I actually have like 17 million toughness, as you can see right there. But this stuff just hits really hard. Yeah, it's just the way it is, and that's not all. It's not like fake toughness either that you have. It's not. No. You know, uh, just a bunch of HP. It's actually good armor and a ton of resist all, and you still just you get rocked sometimes. It's just the way it is. Let's see what's yeah. in the next part of the rift. Oops, except Agreed. we got a bunch of guys to get through first. Um, well, here's a good time to show Archon. Boom, 60 million. I've seen that thing hit as high as 100 million. Um, that's the 3,600% damage rune that goes off when I have Archon. I have the slow time bubble, as you guys can see here, and I can uh, teleport as well. It's uh, the Veer set, man. This thing is powerful. Very, very, very strong. A lot and of fun, what, too, it looks like. I mean, seriously, it, it's very helpful for groups, too. Yeah, and what uh, what it also allows you to do is, with the recent changes to Archon, um, if you're stacking, say, you know, percent cold, percent fire, you can actually change that to be your main rune, and you still get the effects of all the other runes, but now it utilizes, you know, I'm running the cold damage one because I have a little bit of cold damage. So... What that actually did was really make an improvement on your Archon because now it does even more damage because it's using the percent elemental damage. Oh, yeah, that's right. They had to, and they did have to fix that. That's right. Yeah, so it actually turned out into being, like, you know, pretty good buff. Um, hey, I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it, too. Um, and then moving on from that, we have uh, Energy Armor with, uh, what is it, Prismatic. I can never remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can cheat. You can look at your character sheet. It's all right. Yeah, uh, that's just for some more resist. I I kind of like to build my wizard a little beefier on the defense. Um, I do pretty good damage, but you know, as we've said time and time again, it doesn't really matter as much about the damage when you're you know if you're dying. Absolutely. Yeah, you do zero P DPS when you're dead. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and we have a nifty rift guardian here. I think on a power pylon too. Yeah, this is gonna hey, be. Hey, they're one half his health. <laughs> yeah, I don't hit quite as hard as uh, Goose here because he has the insane Jade Harvesters. Oh, and I died. Really, really. Actually, I forgot too. Yeah, but Harrington's as well, which really helps. Yeah. 
absolutely Harrington's. helps. Down. No legendaries. Zero. Bummer. We're on a drought. Anyway, moving on. Um, I still use uh, Electrocute with uh, Lightning Blast. I like the uh, piercing ability here. That's kind of handy. And uh, as I kind of started off with the top of the video, uh, Ray of Frost build. So right now I am using uh, Numb, which does like the freezing and the 80% cold. This is going to depend on what you want to play. What's nice, and here I'm just going to pull it up real quick for you guys, is it's kind of... Uh, Ray of Frost is actually pretty versatile. You know, I have num numbing for the slow. I have black ice, which is really good. It uh, When you kill something, it leaves behind uh, that 1,204% cloud, which just wrecks things. And then the other one I really like is... Uh, Snow Blast. It, uh, enemies hit by Ray of Frost do 15% increased damage, which is good for when I'm playing with you because you do a lot of cold damage. Right. So, you know, just kind of some synergy there. I did change up my passives as well. Uh, I, I ran Blur. I'm running Blur now and Cold Blooded uh, just to give some more defense and some more offense. Um, still using Glass Cannon, which, you know, 15% damage, and but it takes away 10% armor and resist, uh, resistance. So, and then unwavering will just, uh, you know, with Ray of Frost, you're cut. You kind of have no choice, but to be planted. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Um, and yeah. Okay. So let's take a look at the gear. So here's my light of grace. I got a pretty darn good one. I should point out too, that the arcane power on crit is huge. That makes this thing really good. I got a super good roll. Um, from there, here's my Veer boots. Um, you guys have seen those before. Those haven't changed. I'm using the Thunder Fury. Uh, for my particular build, I'm kind of going a cold build. An Azure Wrath would be better than a Thunder Fury if you can get it to roll right. I can't seem to get a good one to drop, so Thunder Fury, I got a pretty decent one. That's what I'm using. Uh, for my ring here, I have Leorix. This is just kind of the best ring i have at the moment i really want a stone of jordan for that elite damage that would that's one of the pieces i'm missing to make this guy like really amazing they're so smexy i love Stones yeah. of jordan and here's my final veers piece which i was missing was the gauntlets these things took forever to get um but once they did that allows me to do the you know the crazy kaboom yeah <laughs> woo um, and my Spalders of Zakara. These are just awesome because it saves you on repair bills. I wish I could um, have those, but I need the shoulder slot for Jade Harvester. So, Yeah, fair enough. I have the Tal Rashas. I'm, I've been trying to kind of finagle it to where I can get an Andy's Helm here, but it's kind of tricky because I'm running two different sets. So I have to be real careful and really choosy about what pieces I can swap in and out. Um, I'm running the Countess Julia's Cameo. This is just, I really like this. I did take a DPS loss to put this on, but I'm telling you what, especially on T5, being immune to Arcane is pretty darn strong. Yeah, I have one of those as well, but man, mine's so bad. <laughs> yeah, mine's okay. It's not the greatest. Yeah, I need another one. I need to find another one, so I'll work on that. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, Taurasha's uh, chest here, which I have an amazing one. This one rolled really, really, really good. Uh, my Tal's belt's okay. Obviously, if I could get like a Harrington Waste Guard, that would be better. And my Reaper wraps are pretty darn good. Um, these things are awesome. I think these are best in slot for Wizards right now. Just Health Gloves giving you back Arcane Power is amazing. Definitely. And my Ring of Royal Grandeur. And there's my pants. And I think that kind of rounds it out. Yeah. Cool deal. So, cool deal. so uh, definitely much more viable. I think for the higher uh, higher torments with just those couple of trait couple of changes that you made. Yeah, Ray of Frost um, hits a lot harder than uh, Arcane Orb, Frozen Orb. And all you really have to do is get that one piece to make that make that work. So yeah, you just need a Light of Grace. And uh, what I also like about Ray of Frost is it costs like half the Arcane Power, so it feels like I can spam it a lot longer. Yep. Plus, with the uh, Arcane Power on crits, it makes it even better. Yep. So absolutely. Yeah. Cool deal. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, we don't want to keep you too long here. Uh, just wanted to show you this, uh, that update there for the Wizzy and a little bit of gear upgrades as well. So uh, if you have any questions or anything, obviously hit us up in the comments. And otherwise, uh, stay tuned for more. We're going to have uh, lots of stuff coming at you here on the channel. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you soon.